Hello and welcome to YouTube video for this 2004 Airstream Land Yacht Model 26. We usually don't get this motorhome like this. Either I have a 45 feet, 40 feet, 42 feet tag axle, or we got a little road track there. But you know, this one is a 26 feet Class A motorhome. I'm really excited to do video on this thing. It has only 5,400 miles. That's 5,400 Carfax certified actual miles. Let's see what we have done to this motorhome. Front 3M film was removed and repainted it. It was in really bad shape. That's typical. The people know the motorhome industry. If you just started doing research, you may know a 3M film goes bad after a few years. Uh, the plastic thing that goes. I think it's just a... Uh, all right, we got a... Uh, windshields are free from any cracks or star cracks or any major cracks I see. They're in really good shape. It rides on a workhorse chassis, 8.1 liter, big monster V8 for this little 26 foot motorhome. It runs like a sports car. We're gonna go down on the highway and do the video uh, as well. 2012, I think mid 2012 manufacturing date. They still got the side cleats on the side. Look at them, deep tread, 5,000 miles. Just wanna make sure they are not original 2003 or four old dry rider tires. Take a look at them closely. No dry rider crack. Tires got at least two, three years, or maybe more, depending. It comes with a brand new tire covers, so previous owner had a covers, they kept it covered. Uh, so no worries on tires. Driver's side door with the power windows. Power heated mirrors. We'll do more thoroughly when we go inside the coach. Just wanted to show you, it does have a driver's side door, very easy to get in and out. Got some compartment on this side. Outside shower, so some underbelly storage, a little bit there, that's your uh, sewer and gray water discharge. Take a look at this full body paint. Beautiful shape, it's not a perfect, it's 2004. Any how you cut it is about a 12 year old, but beautiful burgundy, champagne, lighter, uh, tan color, beautiful color scheme. That's your 30 amp power cord, sewer hose compartment. That's the gasoline. This is your water connection, city water connection. LP tank, take a look at underneath. We've got a huge power gear leveling jack system. They're not teeny winny cheap one. This is an Airstream. They don't do anything cheap. So those are four leveling jacks. They're down right now park cable and uh, DSL hookups right here. We've got all the lights working. It's got a fog lights in the front. You may have noticed in the beginning, the beginning of the video, all the marker lamps work, tail lights, we'll check everything. Got a docking light, got a 5,000 pound towing capacity Reese type three hitch with a seven pin hookup. Uh, generator tailpipe is in the back. All right, let's go up top and take a look at the uh, roof. The roof now. Uh, fiberglass, solid fiberglass roof. Got a newer, uh, it's an air conditioner with the heat pumps. I saw inside, I saw a little older a sign, a newer, looks like a newer air conditioner with the heat pumps. Uh, all the caulking is in good shape. No water leaks. It's just uh, really good shape. Nothing uh, bad about this roof. Uh, it's better than a rubber roof. It's a fiberglass roof. So we'll go back down and look at the rest of the coach. All right, we'll come on this side. By the way, it's got a backup monitor as well, and it's got a little switch that it, it can tilt up and down. I don't know exactly how it works, but uh, it, it, it tried to move a little bit, but it's backup monitor is equipped. It's got a big storage back here before I forget. A table, a uh, spare tire back in there. Pretty deep closet, I mean, pretty deep storage from here is also accessible from the bedroom. You lift the bed up and you can access it here. Docking lights, is your, here's a big plus. Marquis 5500 on-end gold generator. That's an upgrade line. If you were to compare some 25, 26 feet little Class C, they have a Penny Winnie 4000 watt generator. We got 5500 watt gold generator with only 93 hours. No problem, it runs, powers everything up. Hot water heater, furnace, even though you got a heat pumps, some more storage, 
So you got a furnace and a heat pump. So you got a two types of heat. Once again, tires are like new. No worries there. More storage here. If you would notice, none of the windows are dual pan. They're, they're not foggy anywhere. Clear windows. Uh, exterior don't have any damage. I mean, if you see a couple of little like road rock chip or something like that overall in beautiful shape for 2004. All right, let's step in this odorless, clean motorhome that you would love, the hardwood floor that we have put on, and designer carpet as you see it here. This is a real hardwood floor, not a laminate or uh, engineered wood. This is a real, real hardwood floor. All right, let's step in this coach. I'm going to take my shoes off right here. I'll shut the door behind you. We've got all the books and records right here, owner's manuals, we've got some receipt for the front body work here. Also when we got this coach I like to mention as much as I can, it's impossible to tell you everything in 10-15 minutes video. Uh, we had uh, tune-up done, including a couple of injectors were changed, because some of you guys may have a question, 5,000 miles, low miles, had sat around, yes indeed, and uh, ethanol and our gasoline, sometimes they clog up uh, workhorse chassis, uh, Chevy injection. We had it changed, and it runs great. We're going to get on the road to just show you in here a little bit. Uh, just looking at the tires being changed before I got a phone bank, the previous owner did take care of this motorhome. All the recalls were done. I called the workhorse chassis and found out all the recalls, they were open, they were taking care of it. That's another sign that previous owner did take care of it or tried to take care of it. Backup monitor, uh, it's on on position, you can turn it off and when you put on automatic and reverse, it'll come on. So it could be an auto mode. Uh, front air conditioner is ice cold, runs really good. It's got 5,494.3 miles right now. Oil pressure is good. It goes from uh, low 20 to mid 40s. Um, so uh, no, no, no worries there. We've got, um, let's see over here, we have a auxiliary start, aisle lights, dock lights, fog lights, all the switches are there. We have a heated mirror, power, power windows, power mirrors, a CD player. And by the way, these are power seats. Both of them are power seats. And both the seats swivel and they turn around. One of the swivel uh, liveries is broken. I just ordered one new. We could probably replace that. Got a A little technical thing come off. We got some storage up on top. On the passenger seat, we also have a little glow box here. I wonder how that works. Not sure. Cigarette lighter or a cell phone charger, that's what I would say now. Passenger seat is also power seat and it swivels like this. Let's see, we'll turn it around. I guess I need to get it a little forward. Uh, it's got all kinds of levers. It, it works and it swivels. You get the point here. Alright, let's see. More cabinet space here. Korean countertops, kitchen cabinets, got a monitor panel is located right here. It's uh, one of those uh, micro pulse monitor. It pulses and it tells you what's in there and whatnot, all the water tank levels and LP gas and all that stuff. Got a nice mowing faucet, dual stainless steel sink.
Over here we have a three burner gas stove, stainless steel. Lots of drawers underneath, four, five, four of them. Convection oven. Generator now has 92.3 hours. It was 90 hours the other day. All right, over here the sofa opens up in the bed. It's going to allow a couple of person to sleep. This is the uh, tire guard I was referring to, the brand new tire guard sitting in here to cover your tires. This TV has a Velcro built so you can, while you're traveling, you can have it like this or you can have it up and down. It's got all kinds of position you can put it in. Um, being a 2004, I would, uh, I doubt that this is a digital TV, so uh, you could go to H.H. H. Gregg or Best Buy and get a TV for next to nothing nowadays. You could probably upgrade it to a 32 inch, whatever that fits in here. Uh, this is what I was referring to, the Dometic brand new heat pumps. So you can go in a cool furnace and it's got a heat pump too. Fall has finally came here, so it's a little cool here and you could You'll hear it, my uh, heat pump will come on. It still has a um, manual thermostat for furnace. It's got a dimmer for this light right here. More storage under here. So heat pump just came on, I'll turn it off. But air conditioner works here too. It's got four different duct work, so you can change it the way you want it. In a, Domatic refrigerator, runs on LP gas, so electric power. And it works beautifully. I mean, this is a, it's just not used motorhome. Another drawer under there. To your left here is a private toilet. Let's turn the light on. By the way, it's got a two fantastic fan, including this exhaust fan for the toilet area. It's got a glass enclosed shower. Come back here in the bedroom. We have a little privacy curtain that gives you a privacy back in the bedroom. By the way, the hardwood floor stops here, including in the bathroom and stuff, and we have a brand new uh, carpet. That is a designer carpet. Corner bed, got some storage up here. Lots of counter space. Medicine cabinet. We got uh, shades. The same here, we got a day and night shades. Some more cabinet up on top on the bed. This bed would tilt open and you can access that storage I was referring it to from the back side of the motorhome. And we have a big coat closet here. Gonna hang some nice coats and stuff. Some nice little drawers, and I mean, it's got lots of neat little stuff here. That's the hot water heater access. This is about to conclude our video on this 2004 Airstream Landyat model 26Y. This video is about inside out and roof. Now we're gonna get on the road and complete the video. Give me a call for any questions. I prefer text communication. My number is 864-404-0054. That number is 864-404-0054. Or you can call me toll free, 888-352-2316. Thank you. Let's we are in the inner city and it drives really good. Doesn't pull right or left. We're about to enter interstate and show you how it drives on interstate. It drives very easy. If you've never driven a motorhome, um, simple to drive, very easy. Um, not bouncing around on the road anywhere. All right, here we're gonna see the acceleration. So you can hear the grunt of the engine, the V8. Got a power, there we go. Plenty of power. You may hear a little squeak or something. It's a windy, blustery day today. It's very, very windy. That Florida hurricane, we're getting an aftermath here. At any rate, let's, uh, I'm 
doing about 60 miles an hour. We're approaching about 65. Cruise has engaged, cruise works. And if you take a look at it, it's not moving left or right, just a heavy traffic. So I can't go but 55, 60 right now, but it runs really good. Um, yes, this does not substitute you being here, touching it, looking at it, but we'll try our best to show you motorhome inside out on top of the roof, test driving and everything. Uh, 5,496.8 miles. So we're putting some miles on it now. Uh, motorhome is turnkey ready to go. We'll guarantee all the water system. Uh, it'll be all working so you can come here and start camping. Once again, it's a used motorhome, but it's a rare breed, 26 feet Airstream. Hard to find. If I had to compare this motorhome, it's a bargain what I'm asking for because some of the new Airstream trailers are going over 100 grand, $150,000 for trailer without engine and transmission. So you get a bonus here, you got engine and transmission <laughs> with the leveling jacks, generator all. This concludes our video. Please give me a call for any questions. I prefer text communication again, but if you don't know how to text, then call me, leave me a message, and I will return your call, 864-404. 0054. Thank you and have a great day.